going on guys it's a freaking gorgeous day outside the weather is beautiful uh, I figured it's we're pretty long overdue past a uh, 2j update on my GS 300 if you're new to the channel might not even be aware I have a 2001 uh, Lexus GS 300 um, kind of working on it in stages here I've done a manual swap I've done a standalone ECU uh, I've done what they call a forward facing intake manifold and uh, all this is kind of in preparation for the turbo kit and piping and all that um, so so freaking nice out I'm gonna go ahead and get some tuning done I've got my ECU master software brought up here I'll do some data logging and stuff like that make some tweaks um, and since I've been gone I did the drive-by wire drive-by wire throttle body um, I get questions like why did I decide to go drive-by wire and there's there's a couple variables i guess i was pricing everything out for like a cable driven throttle body and on the 2jz you have to get you don't have to but it's what pretty much everyone does you have to get a separate like standalone idle air control valve and if you want to go like an oem type route a supra toyota supra iac valve they can they run like 300 dollars, or you can run like there's companies that make like adapters to run a cheaper IAC valve, but by the time you buy the adapter and the IAC valve, it almost costs as much as the Supra IAC valve, which is again like $300. And a quality drive up by cable throttle body is like $300. I don't know, it just, it almost ended up being more to do a cable versus a uh, drive by wire. Wire is fully electronic. And um, for the drive by wire, let's see, the throttle body was $200. I had to buy an adapter, you know, for the bolt pattern for the flange. That was like a hundred bucks. Okay, so that's three hundred dollars. I had to buy an adapter harness from uh, it's called Panic Panic uh, Harnesses. Uh, let's see, that was uh, another hundred dollars. The pedal was fifty dollars. Let's see, we're about four fifty in. And that's it, man. Just four fifty. But it just kind of seemed like the cool thing to do, you know? Don't be scared of technology. It wasn't that bad. It's got instantaneous response. A lot of people talk mess about uh, drive-by wire uh, throttle response delay. And I mean, it's it's instant. So let me pop the hood and kind of show you uh, engine bay update. So here's uh, the engine bay. Let's talk over a couple things I've done differently. Obviously it's still all motor. Um, you know, all this is in preparation for boost. It's not quite there yet, but that is basically the next step. Um, so yeah, this is a 2JZ GE, you know, originally had the crossover intake manifold and all that gets kind of messy when you go to boost it because you have to like run charge piping from the throttle body here to the intercooler and then back the same way to the turbo. It's just a lot cleaner of a setup when you have a forward facing manifold. It just does it like a loop, you know, throttle body, intercooler, turbo just a traditional you know system cleaner um and then with this with the forward facing manifold this is just from amazon man this was like 80 bucks it works perfect i didn't have to mess with anything adjust anything um luckily the gs300 doesn't have a traditional like vacuum operated brake booster so i didn't even have to make any vacuum ports in this thing just bolt in and go so with this here i was able to run the gte style valve covers just to further clean up the bay this is the throttle body I was uh, talking about earlier. The, it's a Bosch 82 millimeter. I'll post the part number for that in the description. I got it on Amazon. Like I said, it was like 200 bucks. And the adapter harness from Panic um, was like another 100. This made it plug and play. And okay, I had to relocate the power steering reservoir because uh, in stock form, that sits directly on the power steering pump. So I had to buy a fitting there to go to the stock pump and then it transitions to like an AN line. And the, the AN hose just goes like under the manifold to the reservoir. This was another Amazon. <laughs> Everything I get is basically, you know, I'm, I'm on a budget. I don't spend money where I don't have to. I guess I spend money where it counts. Um, that's what I'm trying to do anyway. So I, that's just, this reservoir is like 50 bucks, man. It does the job. Um, oh, that's okay. The original ECU, uh, in stock form, sat right here in this corner in like this big old box. I was able to relocate the stock ECU and everything behind the bumper. All I had to do was remove the washer fluid reservoir and the stock ECU basically mounts at that location. And this is a standalone slash piggyback, I guess. 
the, the engine is 100% ran off the ECU master, but the stock ECU is still needed for a lot of your stock. I don't know, your gauges, traction control, your, your transponder, your keys. Uh, there's just a lot of things that the stock ECU is still in charge of, but all the engine inputs go to this baby here. Nothing from the engine is going to the original ECU. Um, let's see. So before I start running piping and doing all that, I've noticed that the original GS300 intercooler has the upper neck, the upper hose sits right in front of the throttle body. Um, so what I've decided to do after doing some research, I'm gonna get an IS300 uh, full aluminum radiator. Um, so it's gonna have more cooling capacity and it's the neck is about right here. The upper hose is almost a straight shot with the IS300 radiator. And I also have a stock set of IS300 fans that I could use temporarily. So that's gonna be the next thing I do uh, is run the IS300 radiator so I can start working on the cold side piping. And um, oh yeah, I had to order some breather hoses from Japan, uh, some vent hoses to connect the valve covers and I'm gonna eventually route that one. And right here, I'm gonna run these two lines to a catch can. And I'm kind of considering relocating the battery to the trunk just to further clean up the bay. But yeah, this was the engine bay up. Before I go, I wanted to show you just that throttle body kind of in action, you know, just show you do its thing. If I mention this, but I decided to mount the EC Masters EC over here in the shot tower. There was plenty of room to mount this guy here and it clears the hood no problem. Um, so yeah, let's get back inside. Kind of go over some more things. Uh, if, if you're just a channel, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go over some more things I've done to the car. I've done RCF rotors. They're a 15 inch rotor with the LS 460 four piston caliper. I still have to do the back. Um, let's see. Interior, I did a black interior conversion. This was a 10 interior car, but uh, <laughs> I work at Lexus right at a, uh, co-worker i guess totaled his gs uh what, what is it sport design gs 300 so i copped all his uh, black interior with that black wood grain oh my god excuse the stains all right kids kids um let's see yeah and i got like the clasio c covers they're just like a fancy c cover right it just goes over your stock stuff but it is the black seats underneath it just has these fancy C covers that I will probably eventually swap with the front seats for, you know, maybe some Recaros or something. I don't know. We'll see. And of course, I still have AC. It's too, uh, weather's too crazy in Texas to not have AC, okay? Um, so yeah, let's do some driving around, some tuning. And uh, let me show you the two step I have set up. I think I have it tuned right now for 7,000 RPM. Oh, and uh, six speed. Yeah, this is manual swapped. Six speed from a BMW Z4. I think like around a 2004 Z4. So it's a ZF transmission. Uh, the code for it is a GS637BZ. I got an adapter plate from Collins Adapters. Had the flywheel adapter, the custom um, flywheel with the bolt pattern to go to the 2J. But then on this end, it had the bolt pattern for a BMW clutch disc, which is from like an M3. M3 clutch disc, Z4 disc, um, I'm sorry, M3 pressure plates, Z4 clutch disc, and uh, had a custom dry shaft made, of course. Um, let's see, carbon fiber wheel, Lexus center cap for a horn button. <laughs> I'm just kind of going over all this uh, junk I've done to the car. It's been sitting a while. But yeah, I'm, I, this cool weather has me excited. I'm, I'm getting back into it. It's running good with the drive-by wire throttle body the new intake manifold it's standalone it's tuned up right now like perfectly all motor um let's go do some driving
gonna just do an under bridge uh, two step. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. It'd be hard to tell the difference between that and a gunshot, honestly. Let's do some knee driving so I can get some footage. They sound good though, I'll give it that. Backfires. I don't know if we can hear it or not. At that time, I bet you were shooting flames. <laughs> 